Hello and welcome to a brand new kind of course that I'm going to do on Cork Tutorials. Um, it's all about um, creating a third person shooter. Um, this is where I'm taking influence from um, probably I've been playing a lot of Resident Evil. So um, I think it may have won or is in the contenders of game of the year for 2019. Obviously now um, we're moving over into uh, 2020. Um, so I want to kind of show and put across how we've kind of, um, they've kind of created that. And I'm going to use Unity to kind of um, put all that together. So um, majorly influenced by Resident Evil. Um, parts of the maybe the uh, God of War that came out a couple of years ago, and also obviously the classic of Uncharted and Horizon Zero Dawn and things like that as well. So, and um, what we're going to start with first is doing uh, movement within our um, play. That's the most important thing, I think. Uh, Resident Evil broke um, amazing ground when um, they did the kind of um, to the side third person shooter. And that then continued with um, things like Dead Space following on the continuing the years and things like that. But really it was Resident Evil 4 that kind of opened up that. Um, so I'm probably going to be following more kind of Resident Evil style things more than anything else. Um, but obviously as we go along, you can obviously customise how um, you put your controller together because we'll be creating everything from scratch. And this is what it's all about really. Um, if you can create everything from scratch, you have total control in everything that you do um, when it comes to your character controller, which is probably the most important part. So even before we put our level together or anything like that, we are going to make our um, our character controller. So for now, what I'm going to do is game object, 3D object cube. And what we're going to do with this is just make sure that we're just going to create a plane from this really. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. Is it zero zero zero? Lovely, cool. And then for our player, I'm just going to go through the object, go to capsule, add a capsule, bring him up just a little bit. Cool, that's fine. Doesn't matter that he's floating there at the moment. Doesn't matter at all. Um, and we are just going to rename him to. Player. Okay, so if you've watched videos on core tutorials before and like this, um, you'll know from when we created a third person controller and when we've created a first person controller, I do like to create custom gravity. Um, I just think there's too much fighting with the component of rigid body within Unity. Um, I think if you watch other tutorials and even Unity are trying to implement more of a um, more of creating um, custom gravity. This allows double jump and um, just generally more kind of physics based stuff that you can do, um, but custom create it yourself. So you don't have to keep fighting with things. And um, yeah, essentially it's a lot easier to do. So what we're going to do is add a first thing we do is going to get rid of this capsule collider because I'll show you if we remove the component and then go add component and go to player no not player character character controller you can see if we look at our character controller straight away we can already see it's already got a capsule around it okay which is really really useful so what we're going to do is um, create a script. So what we're going to do is start this course properly by creating folders, and let's call this scripts. And in scripts, we're going to create a new script, and we can just call this player. That's fine. So we're going to add player to player. Let's see if that wants to add. Did that add? No, it didn't. Let's just add components. Player. There it is. Cool, lovely. So let's just open up Visual Studio and we'll bang on with getting some movement with our controller. Okay, so um, as you can see, if I make that a little bit bigger, and um, we've got our script open. 
and um, may have done this before, and maybe we've created scripts from scratch and things like that, but it's really good if you've watched the courses before and you know how to, how this is kind of done, um, we're gonna kind of implement everything that we've done with our first person control of movement and everything like that exactly the same way. So you can even take that script, you know, if you've organically created that and it's original, whack it in, that's perfectly fine. But I'm gonna to start to get you to start using script and API from Unity, which um, is a massive resource, which, you know, everybody should be using and massively utilizing. So, and I'm gonna show how useful we actually is. So if we go back to Unity while that's open, click on our player, we can see Coach Controller here, and we see we've got this question mark, and it's and we can open the reference for, uh, for our character controller. So if we click on that, that should open a brand new link. There we go. So we can have a look at this uh, do, 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 do. The capture controller is mainly used for a third person or first person con um, player controls that do not make use of rigid body physics. As I said, we don't want to use rigid body. That's a perfect description of what we want to do. We want to create our own. Um, if you do want to create, create our own jump, double jump, everything like that. Okay, so let's transfer this over. We're going to click switch to scripting. And obviously the character controller um, can, can, can control a lot of things. And one of the main methods at the moment is we're going to go for move. Okay, so if we click on move, and what script and API gives us is um, a simple description. Okay, so the description says this is more of a complex and more um, function taking um, absolute movement deltas. Attempts to move the controller by motion. The motion will only be constrained by collisions um, alongside the colliders, which are obviously, as we've already seen, have already embedded into the character controller. So I usually say, don't do this, but I just want to say, this is how we can fully utilize scripts and API. Let's copy and paste this and let's see if it works. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take what could we do? Yeah, let's take from there up to, oh, not all of that. Actually, I'll take from there, copy it, come on. I'm gonna take there to there. Control C or Command C if you're on a Mac. Go back to our uh, script here. I'm then gonna highlight this delete that, paste this in. Yep, cool. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do something crazy. We're just gonna command save that. Go straight back into Unity. A few new ones to play ball, there we go. And what we're going to do is I'm just gonna quickly move this camera up. Uh, camera, wherever you. There we go, move that across a little bit. And if with that player, and as you can see, that script seems to be working. We'll just turn this to go away. And hopefully, if we press play, the we can fully utilize script and API. Look at that, we already have movement and a decent jump with some decent gravity already. So instead of going step by step, going, oh, we know we've, we've done this already, we've done this with third person, we've done this with um, first person controllers, we can see that you can simply utilize script and API to make a fairly decent script from just copying and pasting, okay? so. I'm usually against copy and pasting because you're not, what are you learning from it? At totally nothing. Um, but I want you to make sure you understand all of this. Obviously there is pseudocode telling you what's happening here. Um, but you should be at the stage now 
um, if you've watched previous videos where you know if we want to privatize something or create a serialized field for it or um, edit or add a double jump or anything like that, that should be fully utilized here. This is really, really similar to what we usually do anyway within our um, writing our script or our character controller from scratch. But um, what I can do in the next part of the video is show you what I've done to kind of utilize it and customize this script. And that's really what I want you to do is customize, take this script, take it into your own, customize it how you want. Okay, um, and I'll show you what I've done. It won't be a lot different to this because obviously this is, you know, homegrown stuff straight from Unity. It's going to work. It's, you know, utilize it really well. So this is one way you can really, really work with script and API. Copy and paste, bung it in, edit it yourself. Um, if it goes wrong, you know, you can always revert back to that, um, you, that stuff you've copied and pasted. But as you custom certain bits you'll start to understand um essentially where you're going wrong and where you're going right okay and again use that scripting api to uh, use it as a guide and then as you know a piece of um helpful information online um to help you put this game together okay so hopefully i'll see you in the next part we've created um a lovely custom script um and i'll show you what i've done to mine to um kind of edit it in my own way okay thank you very much see you soon